Hi, everybody. Welcome back to AppRight. Today, we're going to be discussing storage. If you remember in previous videos, we've just, we kind of went over an overview of everything. We looked at your dashboard. We looked at organizations. We looked at how to create a project. And we did a quick tour. Then we dived into databases a bit more in depth. Uh, we talked about databases, collections, and documents. Today, we're going to start on the next tour, and that will be of storage. So as you see right now, we have our dashboard right in front of us. We've got our analytics running right there. We've got a little bandwidth kicking and then we've got some requests. So, you know, we're trying stuff out. We're working with stuff. Today, we're going to talk about storage. So let's go ahead and click on storage right now. Now, storage is actually a pretty simple video. We create a bucket. A bucket holds our stuff. We ask for stuff. We give it stuff. We look at stuff. We delete stuff. We stuff. So here we go right now. If you scroll, scroll down at the moment, you'll see that you have a buckets list. It says create your first bucket. We don't have one yet. And as always, there's our magical link to the documentation at appright.io. Now let's do the first things first. Let's go to usage, which is you should be familiar with is your analytical data that comes as far as buckets read, created, buckets deleted, so on and so forth. And if we go back up here, you can see you can do 24 hours, 30 days or 90 days. Then we're going to jump right back into buckets here. We're going to create one. So I'm going to name this bucket. Pluto has citizens and they have garages. So there's our garages. They, it's the way they can upload pictures and images to save from their garages. We're going to go ahead and let AppRight generate a ID for us. So we hit create. And what you see right now is you see that there is our ID that was generated. There's the name. Click the little arrow to go back to a list of all your buckets. If you click this, it'll copy it to your pasteboard or your clipboard if you're using Windows. And then down here, it shows you all the files that are available. It also shows you our good old usage link that shows you how things are being used. And then we go to our settings and this will say, hey, can we turn this bucket on and off? Rename the bucket. Add some permissions to the bucket. Let's say anyone can read it. So anyone in Pluto knows what you're doing. And all users can create, update, and delete. We'll hit update. There you go right there. Then we, you can have file security. So like encryption, we can protect it for you. We can do some cool stuff to make sure that nothing happens. Uh, down here, we can. there's the encryption that I was just talking about. Here's your antivirus. That's right. We will scan for antiviruses. And then we can even compress it using zip or gzip. So tar.gz or tgz or .zip, all of the good things. We can set whatever the maximum file size we want to be is. And we can even say, I only want images. So I will only select images. And there we go. We're going to click the update button. Garages has been updated. We're going to go back over here and it says, Hey, let's create a file. Now I'm going to go choose a file. I'm going to dive through all of my documents here. I'm going to jump onto Wesley. Oh, look, it's me. I love that. Click open. Boop. There it is right there. I'm going to click the create button. Oh, wow. Look, it was uploaded. So now my image is right here. I can click on that image and I can take a look. I can grab the file URL. I can download the image. I didn't add, we don't have any to, we file security is handled on the bucket level. We'll let the bucket level do that. And then I can even come down here and delete the file, right? Up, and when I click delete, it says, hey, are you sure you want to do that? And yes, I do. There you go. And that's a quick tour, tour of buckets. So thank you so much for looking into AppRight Storage with me. Up next, we'll be talking about functions and user authentication and some other great things. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be alerted to the next video, make sure you hit that bell as well. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Keep coding.